Hello, my name is Ian McCall and this is a Demoscopy Made Simple uh, video on polygons. Now, what are polygons? Well, they were shapes first noted by Dr. Jeff Keir in Demoscopy and they were written up in the Demoscopy Atlas uh, in I think about August uh, 2010. Though Jeff's been talking about them for quite some time. They're three to five sided angulated shapes. And note I've said they're seen in melanoma in situ, sometimes in lichen planus like keratosis, sometimes in pigmented solar keratosis. But they're almost pseudo polygons in these, and we'll show you what we mean in a second. Now, Jeff comments that they're a good indicator of in situ melanoma off the face, or lentiginous melanoma off the face, and maybe a regression structure. Uh, so let's have a little look at what we call polygons. Let's look at this just a little bit bigger. These are the structures here that we're calling polygons. These multi-sided structures within the lentiginous uh, melanoma, which is in fact what, what this was. These can be difficult lesions to diagnose. There's not a lot of other features there that allow you to make a diagnosis of uh, lentiginous melanoma off the, uh, off the face. Now in this particular one, the clinical is actually quite, uh, quite uh, gauging, it certainly suggests that uh, there's something atypical here. You can see this multicolored uh, lesion, some darker areas, some clearer areas within it. I think this was on a, an arm, a diffuse pigmented area in an arm. You'd have to be awfully careful how you biopsy this to be able to arrive at the right diagnosis, and this is where dermoscopy can help you. You wouldn't want to do a punch in here. You could easily get an unrepresented uh, representative area sometimes a large shave in the areas where you see these um, polygons can be um, a useful way of diagnosing this type of lesion. So this is what Jeff feels are uh, regression structures. Let me just take you to um, the dermoscopy atlas where he first of all put this case up. This was his case here of lentigo maligna with large polygons. Um, it was a 7.5 millimeter diameter lentiginous melanoma on the back of an 80 year old male. He's commented not the background pattern of light brown network with some finger printing pattern described as present in solar lentigo. Uh, let's just have a look at this a little bit larger. There we go. Now, let's look up here. These are Jeff's polygons. You can see the grey dots that often make up the uh, the outline of these, and you know this is why we feel that they are in fact regression structures. And if we look a little bit further down at this, this is where Jeff has in fact drawn in these polygonal shapes. Back again. These are the polygons here, and these grey dots would also suggest regression within the lesion. Let's just have a little look at how Jeff goes on to describe large polygons. Um, the range of polygonal shapes formed by the straight line borders may uh, also be more complex and irregular than has been described in Bear's further examination. Histopath correlation with the features observed is difficult, but the darker lines in some cases appear to correspond to linear collections of melanophages, and the lighter areas at times are reported as showing some papillary dermal fibrosis. So this may represent a stage in regression. Why the patterns in these lesions should form these geometric shapes bound by straight lines, and why some of the shapes appear related to uh, centered around follicles is unknown and bears further study. Um, just to go back down uh, to his presentation in Demoscopy Atlas, he's 
sort of said here that polygons are much larger than the rhomboidal structures seen in facial lenticle maligna and may be rhomboidal, pentagonal, or hexagonal. And he said, in some cases, these large polygons do appear to be centered on follicular openings, as in lenticle maligna of the face, but this isn't a constant. Um, he's commented here, large polygons usually occurred within a pigmented lesion that had lentigo-like pigment patterns, but lacking the sharply defined scalloped edge usually seen with the solar lentigo. Now note he said in here, 21 out of 27 non-facial lentiginous melanomas showed this feature of large polygons detected over a two-year period uh, in his practice. Let's just pop back to the presentation and let's look at these perhaps pseudo polygons that you may see on the face. This is a lesion on the nose. Let's make this just a little bit bigger as well. Now, this was a rough scaly area on uh, this gentleman's nose and it had some pigment uh, within it. Uh, histologically, it was a pigmented solar keratosis, showing, I said, pseudopolygons because of pigmentation around hair follicles. Here, polygons do not necessarily mean melanoma in situ. And you can see the structures I'm talking about here, these sort of pseudopolygons that you may see on the face in a pigmented solar keratosis. So, polygons would appear to be uh, an important structure for us to know something about, but for extrafacial lesions, and it seems to be uh, a marker for uh, lentiginous melanoma of the face. So polygons, I think an important structure. I think they're genuine, they certainly exist. And if you practice in a sunburnt country like we do in Australia, the finding of these off the face on pigmented lesions on a sun damaged back um, can be a good marker for an early lentiginous melanoma. Thank you very much.